Oh, Mark Sinclair, will you never learn? I mean, I know that The Fast and the Furious will allegedly be finishing with its tenth film, which I can only hope and dream will be called Fasten Your Seatbelt in Space! And that you would love to have another franchise of your very own, but you're just not very good at picking films that are anything other than passable and disposable at best. You tried with Riddick, you tried with Triple X, and the less said about The Last Witch Hunter, the happier I'll be. But... At least with Bloodshot, you've picked a film based off some graphic novels that I've never heard of, let alone read, which have the double benefits of a prepackaged, good to go fanbase, and all your action scenes are pre storyboarded. Hmm? And this is meant to start a cinematic universe? Sure, it will. Cinematic universes are really easy to make and maintain. Just ask the DCEU, the Dark Universe, the Amazing Spider Man, and Lego Movie, amongst so, so many more. But. Whatever. Bloodshot finds Mark Vincent Clair Diesel playing a Universal Soldier. Sorry, wrong franchise. Vincent Clair Diesel plays a slain soldier who is brought back from the dead with superpowers, a few fragmented memories, and... You'll have about 80% of the plot down within maybe the first 20 minutes, barring a pretty cool twist which then gets beaten into the ground, and you'll be lulled into a doze shortly after. Look, I don't think anyone's going to lose their shirt over this, but this is going to be a one and done film. I mean, there's nothing particularly wrong with Bloodshot, but it's the same story you've seen done before. The script feels about 10 years out of date. For about 95% of the fight scenes, a hero has a healing factor that puts Wolverine to shame, meaning that none of the generic goons offers any threat in any way, shape or form. The action scenes, mostly due to this film's limited budget, are either covered in smoke, generic, or just not overly interesting. All the characters are stock, one-dimensional bits of cardboard. Bloodshot is, I think meant to be this haunted man who's played by Vin Diesel, which means that he's a tank top wearing slab of beef, and I'm pretty much done with less than 400 words on the word count. Pub? Pub. 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 Look, if you're utterly mind-blowingly desperate for a superhero fix, then I guess this will tide you over, but I get the feeling that a lot of what made this character work on the page was cut to make this film, and I was certainly left with no desire whatsoever to go anywhere near the source material. The action is constrained by the film's 12A rating, when allowing the film to be 15 or 18 rated would have allowed for better, more interesting fight scenes, which this film really feels like it needs to allow it to develop some personality or defining trait. I'm not saying that a few arms flying across the screen would have made this my film of the year or anything, but I'm going to wrap up now, post this review, and then promptly forget this film exists, which I get the feeling is a shame. But sadly, par for the course for a Vin Diesel solo fleck. Anyway, uh, what are we talking about again? I'll see you next time. So if nothing else is on and you are absolutely desperate for a superhero film, check this out. Otherwise, just don't bother. But what do you guys think and what minor level superhero or villain would you love to see get on the big screen for once? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a Dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.